So now I'm going to go over a medial gliding technique which can help facilitate end range extension as we know the elbow goes into valgus at end range. So when we do this we don't need the belt but we want to pre-position our patient with 90 degrees of shoulder abduction with the olecranon pointing toward the floor. We're going to come into the available range and then when we're going to place our hand, we want to be careful not to place it on the radial head, but that just on the proximal aspect of the ulna. So we're going to use the heel of our hand there. Our direction of our glide is if we have a line connecting medial and lateral epicondyles, we're going to go at a 60 degree angle. So this is my direction. This is where I'm going to point my body, and my forearm lines up in the direction we're going to go. So I'm going to pick up the slack here. I'm going to pre-position him into pronation, and I'm going to perform my glide. I can do a grade 3 or a grade 4 static hold.